It's Valentine in the morning. Sean Mendez. First time meeting you, I think, for me. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Have Sean's. you met Jill before? We've, I, never, I, met. we've never met either. So. I did not expect you to be as tall as you are. I hear that every time. Yeah, yeah. very tall. <laughs> yes. I'm still floored that you're 19, because you're 19, right? I am, yeah. It seems to me like you've been 19 for about four or five I years. I feel that way also. Does it? Yeah, I think it's because I started doing music at a really young age. Were you like a Viner or something at first, right? Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, that, that's how everything started. Right. I started putting videos up on Vine, and then yeah. I started writing music, and now we're here. <laughs> Whatever happened to those guys you used to Vine with? Where are they at? Um, They're they're doing stuff. Are they're, they really? Like, yeah, okay. they're all super busy, and I keep in touch with some of them. Yeah. So, yeah, they're really cool guys. Are you going to do Vine, too, if that comes back? Um, I don't know. Probably not. Probably you've done your Vine. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm cool with just making music right now. Yeah, yeah. I think you're fine. Yeah. I don't think you have to jump back into the Vine. <laughs> I'm, thing yeah, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> so we love the new song, by the way, Thank In My you. Blood. We were a bit taken aback by the intenseness of the lyrics. Of that seems like kind yeah. of a departure for you. Yeah, definitely. I mean... Everything in the past has been, you know, about a relationship and a little bit more vague and yeah. a lighthearted. Um, but yeah, I mean, when I got in the studio, this was actually the first song I wrote. And what I was thinking was the only way I think I'm going to, you know, next level my music is to be more honest mm -hmm. with myself and to just be, you know, super vulnerable. And mm -hmm. this was the first thing I came up with. And I'm, I'm really happy. I had, I like it, like you guys were taken back. I had no yeah. idea what to expect from reactions. Um but it seems that people like everywhere are really enjoying it and connecting with it. Well, when I first, because I have to go back to, you know, stitches and different songs and stuff. So you're 19. It's true. I'm 49. Yeah. 40, bit of a difference in ages almost. here. Almost. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, so I you're always, six, uh, 68? 69. 69. That's, we don't have to get bogged yeah, down yeah. by details. Okay, cool. Thank yeah. you for that. Yeah, no Let's problem. go past that. Yeah, Thanks. Yeah. I'm your dad. Great. Yeah, no, that's why I was asking. My dad's 67. Uh, yeah, uh, 67. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the yeah. year, not the age. Yeah, the, the okay. year, yeah. Oh, God, thanks. So anyway, what I was going to say is, I always, and please don't take any offense, I thought it'd be just like a little pop act, you know? Like, of course. this young kid? He's really nice. talented. Everyone he's entertaining. Did. Everybody enjoys his work. And now well, the hearing truth is, this. Is that, that's what it is. That's what it was. Yeah. You know, and when I, when I first started, I, I kind of... I was just like, a, you know, a pop singer. And my goal was to play guitar. My goal was to play piano. Right. My goal was to rock out on stage and, and to kind of get here. And, and, and I'm, I'm not at my goal. My goal, mm -hmm. I don't think I'll ever reach that. But um, that is what it was when it started. So you're right. It's amazing to me that you're that honest about it, too. Some people are like, well, you know, da, 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 da. but you're honest about what you were and what you want to become and totally. that transformation that you're in a process of going through, I suppose. No, you can't just wake up one day, you know, being, the, being that person right. that you, you're trying to be. I don't think you, you ever, you'd never really do, you know, especially like if, if you're like the CEO of a massive right. company, you don't just wake up there one day. But I don't think the finish line in life is the goal. I think the journey is the, the journey, goal. Exactly. Right. Yeah. We're getting real deep on here this morning. We did, but we, every, we synced this up. Like an every interview thing with me, it's always good. Have you been deep song. with people doing the interviews? Yes, the song. Every time we start talking, it gets super prolific. Yeah. It's good, though. Okay, I like and that. And I think because it can relate to people who are listening to it, no matter what you're going through. Totally. You know, and you hear, I, I loved the line in it where you say, you know, people say it's going to get better or, or right, I think right. it's going to get better. Yeah. Does it really? Yeah. Because everybody tells you when you're going through something, don't worry, you know, the storm will pass. Mm -hmm. But when you're in it, you're like, okay, well, is it? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. this is my life. This yeah. is what I'm feeling day to day. hundred percent. So so many people can relate on so many different it's just, levels. The, the thing about the song is like, I, I put it lyrically out there as like raw and, you know, just write exactly mm -hmm. how it was. But people have all their different versions of that type of feeling. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, it's cool though because there's all all these people who who don't usually text me about my music are, yeah. are are kind of texting me like old friends who I haven't spoke to in a while. Right. My sister likes the song for once. You haven't spoke to her in a while. <laughs> no, either? no, I speak to oh her all, every day. No, no. <laughs> she hasn't uh, liked your previous. No, she songs? likes music, but she like this is one that she's like seems specifically interested in. So it's really cool. Oh, that's I think, funny. You know. It's hard. You you when you create a song that has such a deep concept like this, yeah. you're worried because you're taking a leap it, to to bring something that's like kind of dark yeah. and and deep. You're taking a leap out there, and uh, to have so many people really connect with it in a great way is like the best feeling in the world. We're gonna play the song here. Come back. I have a question for you about the song, and I don't know enough about your private life, so this may be a question when you tell me step back on boundaries, and that's right. okay if you want no, to tell I, me yeah, that. Yeah, I probably won't. Uh, oh, good, good, <laughs> yeah, good yeah. here. So I got more questions. And hang All on. Right. Here's uh, Sean Mendez. It's Valentine in the morning. It's Valentine the Morning, Sean Mendez, In My Blood. That is out right now. The album is coming out. We're not sure when yet or? Not telling. Okay. It's coming out soon, though. So stay Yeah, here. hey, thanks for not answering my yeah, question no that problem. I told you I'd ask you a private question. Not going to happen. So the song, was it written for somebody specific, Sean Mendez? This song? That particular song. My, is there blood? a person, yes, that you were thinking when you wrote that song? Uh, no, actually me. 
Yeah, this was this okay. was the kind of this was the thing that I was going through at the time. Was and there somebody? Was there a relationship you were going through at the time when you were writing that song? In my blood. Yes. No. Uh, no. Okay. No. This this was more of like a, a life thing. Okay. And, uh, yeah. All right. So good answer. No. I know you're trying to get out of me, but there's I was. nobody. Okay. I was <laughs> yeah. desperately trying, but it's okay. It. <laughs> I'll tell you if there is. Would you really? Yeah. Are you seeing somebody right now? I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Yeah. Got to concentrate in the music. No, I don't. I don't really feel like the need to be super secretive about that yeah. stuff. Yeah. I think it is. What I'm glad it is. to hear that. Yeah. Because the fan base, people that really enjoy your music and stuff, they also want to enjoy, you know, your life and the yeah, things they learn about you and yeah. stuff. So when people close those things off, you're closing off part of your life and who you are to your fans. Sure. Yeah. The one relationship I do love following is you and John Mayer. Yes. The comments back and forth. What's going on there? Just, I just love it's just really funny. because I follow both of you. So when okay. I see a picture of Sean yeah. pop up in my feed, I can see John Mayer's comment <laughs> yeah. as well. Okay. And vice versa. And yeah. you called him an old man once. I did. He called you the son of Krypton yeah, on one saying, photo. Why did you I call him it. an old man? I just I just wanted to bug him. Okay. Yeah. Um, and he goes back and forth with you. That's a fun thing back yeah, and forth. Yeah. I mean, right. we, we've kind of known each other for the past, uh, you know, couple of years. And I've been sending him yeah. the music. And he's just been, you know, really great he's with been helping the, out a bit advice and stuff like that. Oh, that's nice. He actually uh, worked on a song on the new album, which is really oh. amazing. Oh, wow. Yeah, so. Dude, John Mayer's fantastic, yeah. but have you seen him in concert? Obviously. I yeah. have, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you get frustrated by the guitar solo that takes 18 minutes? Uh, I don't, personally, you don't, because you're I'm an artist. such a big... Yeah, I'm an right. artist. I could watch him play guitar right. for six hours. You yeah, know, but so. we're waiting on him to stop the solo instead of waiting on the world to change. He's still playing. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, it's been like 25 minutes. See, I get it. You're I a good guitar player. I there's even a song, and I think the whole song should just be a solo sometimes. It's right, because you're into that yeah, stuff. Yeah, I love right. that stuff, okay. yeah. Uh, are you doing any acting? I heard you had tried out for, or we're going to try out for a movie, but um, you couldn't. I, I will be doing acting. I, I don't have the time at the moment just because, mm -hmm. you know, I've been making the album and uh, I'm going to be going on tour. And so once I get the time, I definitely want to get into acting. It just okay. depends on doing the, the right thing that, that feels right for me. Was the Simon movie one that you were going to go out for? That, Love that Simon, was an option, yeah. yeah. I see. But uh, nothing nothing really came about it. Okay. I saw it the other night. It was really awesome. Was it good? Everybody yeah, saying truly it's just amazing. so yeah. good. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Um, what else are you doing this summer? Have you got any plans? Any vacation plans um, or anything? No vacation plans. New oh, music. Man. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing my actual first uh, festival run. So I'm gonna be okay. like all over Europe, all over. I'm gonna be in Japan. Uh, I'm gonna be in America, just doing festivals everywhere, which I've never done before. So it's mm -hmm. gonna be a new crowd and trying to kind of win over the hearts of people who don't really listen to me. I think. I talked to you uh, backstage at the AMAs and I told you that you looked a little bigger. You bulked up a little bit. What have you been doing? <laughs> Everybody says that. You do look good, though, but you're also 19. That's, that's just age. Yeah. Because last time everyone saw me, I was probably 16 or 17. Okay. And now, so age, you get a little bigger, right? Right. That's Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And when Charlie Puth was in here, he told us that you guys uh, send each other selfies <laughs> comparing your bodies. Why does Charlie do this? I, Is that, that still happening? Are that, you guys still doing that? No. We are not doing. I don't. That was not. That you're was, asking this man right here to my left if he sends selfies back and forth comparing his body. With Charlie Puth? Yeah, because they were on the road together. Uh -huh. And so they were, Is this you know, something Charlie together, actually said? Now they're not on the road together. Sure, sure. So I'm wondering, Is this are, you true? Still, are you still sexting each other? Are you sexting <laughs> oh each other? God. Is that what's happening here? This, was, uh, this is not a thing. Charlie once, Charlie once, Charlie once sent me a photo. He sent me a photo right, of right, him. Right, right, right. I yeah. didn't reply to the photo. <laughs> Thank God. That's perfect. Because what Charlie does, when Charlie came in here, Charlie I don't know why he, he, is he bragging about this, like this is a thing he should be telling I think he wanted to show us his picture of himself, yeah. so he's like, he yeah. did. Sean and I, you know, yeah, he said you guys are in competition. Forth. You're trying to work Definitely. out and stuff. I mean, so he had photos of himself all beefed up and said, I'm sending this one to Sean Mendes see right how now. He had none of me because I didn't send any. That's a good point. <laughs> Case closed. Oh, Charlie, I got to text him. No more of that. The album is that that is coming is, is, is kind of a hybrid of music. I mean, if you yeah. compare In My Blood to Lost in Japan, which came out last night, okay. they're like kind of complete opposite songs in right. terms of the feel. Um, and that's what the album is. I like. Yeah. I didn't put any walls up for my genre of okay. music that I was making. I just made music. So stay tuned. Now, where'd you grow up? Toronto. Toronto. Okay, yeah. so you're Canadian. That's why yeah. I like you so much. <laughs> <laughs> he just seems like a really likable guy, oh, doesn't thanks. he? I he hope does. so. You got sisters, brothers. What's the deal? I have a younger sister. Yeah. Okay. When you go back home and you visit family and stuff like that, where's the one place you have to go to that creates a memory for you? Um, 
I, I usually just go back to Pickering, which is where I'm from in, uh-huh. in Canada. And uh, it's where my family still lives. I, I literally just moved to Toronto, so okay. it still feels like home to me there. Yeah. yeah. Do people recognize you on the street and they know your success, so it's a different feel? Or is it just a, hey, how are you? Yeah, I mean, the funny thing is, is like the, the closest people in your life are, are usually like the the most calm about it, like my yeah. closest friends. But then the people who kind of know you are the ones who, who make it. Who get it more excited big, yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Do you think uh, House Hunters spends too much time in the Canada area in Toronto <laughs> looking for House homes? Hunters? Is HGTV? You're oh, too yeah, young. I know. I used to watch HGTV you a lot. You did? Yeah, it's a very calming thing to watch, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I can't sleep, put on HGTV. <laughs> well, oh. <laughs> that's that not, no, I don't watch the fall asleep. I yeah. actually enjoy you it. You enjoy it. Okay, I do, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an age thing again. That's a definite age thing. That's a definite age thing. I definitely don't just put on HGTV and watch it. All right, there it is. Sean Mendez. (laughs) 